Last Tuesday, astronauts John Casada and Frank Rubio conducted a seven-hour spacewalk to install an IROSA mounting adapter on the Starboard 6 truss of the International Space Station. Now, the IROSAs are the ISS rollout solar arrays. These are the new solar panels, uh, high efficiency, that have been um, gradually installed kind of over the half, kind of half over the top of the legacy solar arrays on the ISS over the past couple of years. And there are um, a few more IROSAs to be installed. And so what they were doing was installing the the mounting bracket, basically, that the IROSA will attach to. Uh, the spacewalk started more than an hour later than was scheduled, which is uh, a little unusual due to, I think, due to some spacesuit issues, but those got resolved and they didn't have any, any further complications. Uh, on Thursday, Russian cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin did a six and a half hour spacewalk to prepare a radiator on the Rosviet module for transfer to the new Nauka laboratory module and to install a retaining bracket on the European robotic arm, which is mounted to Nauka. And you may notice that the spacesuits look different. That's because these are the Russian Orlan spacesuits as opposed to the US EMU spacesuits, which uh, are manufactured by, oh golly, my brain, uh, an American company. <laughs> Shame on me. Uh, Orbital, uh, uh, shoot, uh, Dover, I ILS Dover. There you go. I, I summoned it from my archives. <laughs> They had some beautiful views during the uh, spacewalk, but uh, unfortunately the spacewalkers themselves are uh, typically so focused on their work that they don't have much opportunity to look around and smell the roses, as it were. Also on Thursday, there was another EVA. Uh, this was kind of the week for EVAs. Chinese taikonauts Kai Shuzhe and Chen Dong performed the third EVA of their Shenzhou-14 mission aboard the Chinese space station. Utilizing both of the CSS's robotic arms, oh, hello, uh, connected together in order to reach their work site. Inside the station, Liu Yang controlled the robotic arm. Uh, let's see, there you saw a very brief video of the robotic arms connected together. <laughs> 